Hello everyone, welcome Nare Shetty. Yeah, in the last video we discussed about the HTML header elements, right? So in this video we discuss about the footer element. So how the footer will be displayed? So, just simple, same like a header, we have to use the something called footer. So footer is mainly used whenever you want to write a footer section, the last the bottom section of your web page, you must have to use a footer tag, footer tag, right? So but just by having uh, footer, uh, no styles will be applied. We can apply the styles by using CSS, okay? Yeah, header is over. Let me open uh, file number 22, yeah. So file number 22, footer element, so it is empty. So now let me apply footer. So just change the title, just change the title. So HTML5 footer elements, okay, HTML5 footer elements, okay. Yeah, it's totally all changed. Now in the body tag. Uh, see, if you just add a uh, footer element, it won't come uh, by default in the bottom of the page, okay? It comes in the top only. So, what we do, for proper example, we'll add a header and then some section tags and then lastly footer. Now, it seems like a proper, yes, it is a footer, it is a header, it is a section, right? Let me add it. So, first, uh, before uh, starting a footer, just add a comment, just add a comment, first uh, header and then section and then footer elements. So, header elements, uh, just say main header, okay. So, main header. So, this is a main header. Yeah, simple, just add a header tag. So, first let me add all the uh, HTML and then we will apply letter uh, CSS, okay. Uh, so, for the header, just add a H1 or H2, H2. So, UI brains, okay. And then, just add a P tag or we'll say h3 okay okay make it the first one is h1 and then this h3 okay so the the smart way of learning okay yeah you have been the smart way of learning okay yeah now yeah, that's a header next we have one uh, section uh, let's say main section so some section elements so in the section i have so what we have so online training and offline training okay so i have a h2 online training okay so in this so i'll just add uh, one article yeah proper example okay so article so first uh, what we have uh, h3 okay so h3 html html so for the html let me add some dummy content some lorem 40 tab okay some dummy content for the html and then let me add one more article so add a h3 this is called css okay yeah uh, next uh, add one more paragraph so lorem 40 tab so one simple section right so this section is for online training same like this i have offline training and then footer so do one thing the complete uh, section element right so the complete section copy and paste it yeah one is online training and offline training just change this to offline offline training yeah same just just leave it uh, html and css lastly we need to add a footer yeah now the proper example of footer so here add a comments main footer okay just add a footer footer tag okay so for the footer they say uh, what footer contains May, uh, mainly the copyright information, uh, any links, uh, the main links like uh, uh, terms and conditions and all this. So all rights reserved and all this and developed and maintenance information and all this, right? So, yeah, let me add that. So add a H3, H3 or make it H2, copyright. Yeah, so for copy at the rate, uh, the copyright symbol, what is that? Ambassador copy semicolon. So ampersand copy semicolon so 2018 okay so copyright 2018 uh, space ui bearings dot com or just do like this u i ui brains dot com okay yeah this is a copyright information so after this just add a paragraph so all rights reserved 
okay so all rights reserved for the footer and lastly so developed and maintained by yourself so this are a bit i developed and maintained by the start your name i'm just adding my name just add your name okay so developed and maintained by yourself okay this is called footer now see we added header see we added header we added section we added footer but no styles let me add some styles so that it looks like a proper example okay so header section and all this okay go to title below title just add a style tag style tag okay so for the entire body just a body open close yeah little more styles required because for the header footer and section we need to add different different styles right yeah so for the body let me add some font to family uh, same old sans ms sans serif okay yes yeah now margin 0 just want to remove the margin yes yeah now for the header so for the header as well as footer i want to apply some same styles okay so header comma footer okay header footer same styles so header let me add some background image something called url img slash uh, something called uh, nature path dot jpg okay yeah let me add little padding padding something called 10 pixels okay yeah text color uh, i want to change the text color to white color white color text okay yeah now it looks like a proper uh, see this is the footer and this is the header so let me keep this exactly in the center right so header and footer i want to keep it in the center there's something called text align center it comes in the center so ui brains is your header and is the main content and then this is the footer okay this is the footer now what else we need to add yeah for this one it is like uh, somewhere touching in the corner right so let me give some extra padding to it so that it comes uh, some space between okay so what is this entire it's called section right so just say section simple simple styles so section open close so let me add a little padding of uh, some 15 pixels see it comes in the center right so no styles I'm, I'm not adding any styles for this uh, online training and offline training yes it seems like a proper uh, this one yeah so this is the proper uh, example for footer see this is the header is by using header tag this is the header by using header tag and this is the section elements and then lastly footer so you can able to see the nice footer over here right that's it so this is the example so i hope you enjoy so in the next video we are going to discuss about sidebar so how to write a proper sidebar and how to write the main navigation and all this so by default no styles will be applied we need to apply the styles by using css okay yeah so in the next video we'll discuss how to write a sidebar by using a side tag a side element okay yeah thanks for watching happy coding